Twitch has become quite a space to show us a lot more butt cheeks. So since that one Twitch streamer who I don't need the name got banned for doing something similar to this, showing full butt cheeks with the camera on there, guess what's happened? Now we're starting to see even more of this. See, as we continue on, I'll show you girl after girl after doggone girl. So as we see now, I'm not showing y'all probably the full thing, but trust me, full butt cheeks in the face. So what is Twitch? That is what we are here to ask today. Is Twitch about gaming? Is Twitch about chatting? Is Twitch about just chilling in a hot tub? Well, I'm here to tell you this. What Twitch has become is a place to make money. And how do you make money on Twitch these days? Well, you show butt cheeks. You allow people to sexualize you. You allow people to talk about you in the thing. You allow people to continue to make money off you in any way, form, or fashion as possible. Now, I want to say this about Twitch before I continue. Okay? Twitch is not just a platform that only shows these types of things. Twitch shows much more than this. Twitch is not just this site. There's not even that many women doing this content. But the question you have to ask yourself is Twitch. Why do you allow this? Why do you allow young men to come on here and see these things? Because that is who this is being marketed to. Yes, there's older men in this. But majority of the men looking at this are young men, teenage kids looking at this. So why is it being allowed? If Twitch was to stop this, if Twitch was to say no more of this, what would happen? Well money would go away. These women would find another place to go. Therefore, you would lose part of that young audience that likes this kind of stuff. As long as they can keep young men engaged on this side. This is the subset of men who may like gaming and Kai Sinat and all of them, but there's also some men that are going to come over here when they need to get what they need to get done, if you know what I mean. So the next question is, is it okay to keep allowing this content? Well, in my personal opinion, you can't really get away from it because if we were to stop this content on Twitch, you would have to move it to a different site and these women would have to do what they have to do. But think about this. Stick with me now. If you were to have to move this content somewhere and these ladies had to go to a specific place to stream these things, what would it do? Well, two things would happen. One, yes, you would lose some of your audience to go over there. However, these women would have to find another way to entertain because if they go to a site that does allow this, they're going to have to go much, much further in the things they're going to have to do to keep men's attention. They're going to, if a site allows this completely, that means they're going to have to go to the darkness of getting full flesh, if you know what I mean. So the question remains, oh, the question remains, which one do you want to go with? Well, in my opinion, I believe this should not be allowed on Twitch because it's hurting a lot of young men. However, I'm going to be called a fool, an idiot, dumb, because I'm just mad these women are getting to the bag. I don't care about women getting to the bag. People do a lot of things that I disagree with to make money. However, I'm always going to care about the young men who are too young to realize what they're falling for because you know what happens when young men look at this stuff? You know where it's going to lead to. They're going to be looking at corn at a young age from 12, 13, 14, not realizing the damage it's going to do to them. These young men don't know what's happening. And too many times we let this stuff go on. Too many times we go, well, it is what it is. These young men are going to find out anyways. I think that's a problem that we continue to just let young men fall to the wayside. And then we hear the same things when they grow up. What? Oh, these guys are losers. They're simps. Men don't have any ambition. Why do you think that is? Because when they fall from this at a young age and they see this every single day they hop on, they're going to lose ambition to want to go talk to real women. They're going to lose ambition to want to go work hard. They're going to lose ambition for this stuff. They're going to think they always have to do what? Because what do they have to do for these women on here? Well, they have to give money. They have to give money. To get these women to jiggle. To get these women to do things for them. And so what do they learn as they grow up? I have to give money 
And I have to give everything for women who look like this to give me any attention. And you got to understand these young men stay in that teenage state. So as they do get older, even though there's people out there trying to tell them, don't spend money, don't spend money. It's all they know. And they don't find content such as mine. They might not find content such as others and know that this is not the way to go because they have been literally molded into these kind of men. Because Twitch is such a powerful platform that anything can happen. So what happens to these young men? They get molded into these things. These young women. And here's my problem. Just like I have a problem with OF models. These Twitch women also get on my nerve because they are manipulating young men. They know what they're doing. They're taking lonely men. And what the problem I've had since I've been talking about this for so long now, the problem I have with these women who do these things is the women that say that they're, 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 they're okay with manipulating men and all this kind of stuff. The same men that they're making money off the backs of right now, Understand something, young men. These women would never date you because they see you as a loser. Even though you're paying money to them, $5, $2, $3, however much you pay to see something jiggle, they think you're a loser. They would never date you. They would never give you a time of day. It's really, at the end of the day, is some form of a scam. They're making you think that you're actually important to them, but at the end of the day, you're not. You're not important to them at all. Okay, they see you as the exact type of man they would never date. So men, what are you spending your money for? Oh, because you're getting some use out of them? You're getting to see a booty jiggle? <laughs> no. No. You're only losing a part of yourself, man, because this is the pipeline. Shout out to Brittany Venti. This is the pipeline. This is the Twitch, the corn pipeline. And it is going to hurt you and harm you in the craziest ways men i am telling you no matter what you think now you've got to get away from this and twitch i understand you're gonna be you're gonna have your flaws as every single site does however can you just stop for one second and say maybe we don't want to go this route yes you'll lose money and i understand twitch for a very long time you've been losing money but hear me out why gain money just to lose your soul? Why gain all this money just to lose it all? For what? For what?